Hi, this is Jason Widerow. In this tutorial, we're going to continue on our types and views. And in, what I'm going to show you here is the next step after we've created our classifieds post type. So the next thing we need to do is actually assign the classifieds the options that are going to be available to list the actual item itself. So in other words, when your visitor comes to the website or when you're adding the product, you need to be able to have the correct fields and selections that apply to the classified post type. So what we're going to do is go to types, click on types, click add a custom fields group, I'm going to give it a name, okay, and then we're going to click on post type, this is very important, we're applying this to the classifieds post type. We're going to click OK and save that. And in terms of the template, I'm going to make this a full width, full width page template with no sidebar. I think that will look nice and open. So I'm going to leave all this as it is for the time. And what we're going to do is just start adding our fields. And remember, in our last tutorial, we already have a title and a description field as I showed you as those two defaults, the description and the title. So what I'm going to do here is we're, we're going to add a price box, which is just going to be a single line. And the price is the slug. And we're going to put a note here. If I can spell right again. There we go. And we're going to make this required because this is a required field. Every product should have a price. I'm going to click Save. All right, so we got our price box. Next thing we're going to do is add an image. So we're going to go to, oh, where's my selection there? Images. We're going to click on that. I'm going to call it Classified Image. Okay, and this we're not going to make this required because not all not all products have an image, so we're going to leave that optional for this. And I'm going to click save. All right, and the last thing we're going to add is a category option, and for this it's going to be a select type. So I'm going to click select, give it a category. Okay, now uh, we'll say the this specific site is about cars, and I'm going to uh, have a trucks category and a cars category, and then we'll say uh, hot rods just for fun. And I'm not going to select any as the default, and this just basically means that if you're adding a new classified, that the post will automatically default to one of these. But we're going to leave that up to the, the poster on that. So that's those are all entered. I'm going to click Save down at the bottom here. Okay, good. Now we have all of our fields in place. I'm going to show you a quick example of what this looks like. We're going to go back to our classifieds. We're going to click Add New. As you can see, there's our price field, there's our image selection, and there's our category option. Okay, so in this tutorial, we went over some of the very basics of getting the actual post ready because once we get to the next upcoming tutorials in terms of the searching, you're going to find that it's important to understand this relationship of these fields and the search selections that we make in the next steps. All right, look forward to moving on. See you in the next tutorial.